Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to install Amazon Alexa Voice Assistant on the Movoi Tick Watch 3 Pro Ultra. I've upgraded the watch already to Android Wear 3.5. Worked absolutely awesome. Best upgrade in a smartwatch which I've ever done. So there is some hope and it could be definitely worse to add some voice assistant because of course we don't have the Google Voice Assistant anymore. Now I have triggered Google Voice. So I found this on Reddit. So what's important here is to download the APK from the Amazon Alexa. Of course Amazon Alexa is also available in the official Play Store. You can see that when you go to play.google.com, something like that, and then you search for that, you'll find it, but it will tell you that you can't install it from there directly to the watch, unfortunately. So we have to side install. Here's the APK download. And so here we have it on this side with this arrow down. So I clicked on that, uploaded, checked it on wirestotal.com and nothing suspicious showed up. So for me, definitely looks safe. So I'm downloading this also here, even though it says the file might be harmful. So what I did, I did not directly download it here. I put it on my Google Drive and then I will install it from there because I think Google will do some additional safety checks and if there is nothing shown, it will be safe or at least I hope so. Then we need the Easy Fire tool. That's the thing here, Easy Fire tool. I've already downloaded, installed. Most reviews seem to be good as far as I can see. Always good to see the most recent reviews because if they have added something suspicious, you would see that here, but you can see most recent reviews. Okay, says so doesn't connect, just fail or so, but doesn't say like it's a virus or so. That's the most important thing. But of course, we also have to do some stuff on the watch. So we go to settings, here settings, system, about, then we have to go to the versions that's not described. And here we have the build number. So we have to click a couple of times on the build number. Yeah, you are now one step away from, yeah, you are now a developer. Okay, that's what we needed. Now we can go back to the settings, the root menu, and now we have the developer options. You can see that's the full normal menu. Here we have these developer options. So what we need here is the ADB debugging. So we activate that. Okay. And debug over Wi-Fi, I think. Enable debug over Wi-Fi. That's the thing here. Okay. Then select wireless debugging. Wireless debugging. Enable here. Now let's continue. We click on allow. And we can see here the IP address and port. So that's important here. That's what we are going to use. Of course, highly recommended to deactivate the developer options, Wi-Fi debugging and these things after everything is working. This is also what I'm doing. So what we need here is the easy fire. Agree. So now we have to change the settings here. We click here, go to settings. Connection settings, IP address. We add the IP address of the watch, which we have found in the system settings. What's a bit weird is that I had to try this couple of times. At the beginning, it was always saying invalid IP address, something like that. But after about three or four attempts, it has stored it. By the way, you don't have to add the port number, just the IP address like 192.168 dot one dot one of course it's a different address but i don't want to show you mine here now we have to go back we click on the connection icon here on right top okay allow debugging yes click on okay continue connected now let's choose the apk file which we have downloaded so really cool that it allows me to use the APK directly from the My Drive. So I click on that. Let's see. Yes, yeah, says Amazon Alexa. Click on install. Should be installed. Yes. Okay. That looks pretty promising, but I don't see any progress. By the way, it's 28 megabytes. 
Yeah, it looked so good, but now no progress. What's going on? Okay, I had to reboot the watch and then go into the developer tools, activate wireless debugging again. The IP address was still the same, but maybe also worse to double check. I clicked here on the right top to disconnect and then clicked again to connect again and selected the same app and install and now it works. So it seems to be possible to transfer the app. So let's see what's happening after transferring the app operation successful okay yeah so i would say we can disconnect so that's what i've been doing before disconnecting and connecting again so yeah i cancel that for the moment i don't need that anymore so let's see if the app is here click on the right top amazon alexa Maybe we need to install the Alexa also on the smartphone. Play music, make calls, get started. Connect your Amazon account. So it looks like I have to go online and add this code there. So when I go down here, it says open on phone. Let's see. Of course, I have to enter my password first here. And now it says register your device. And has already copied the code here. So let's click on continue success. Your registration is now complete. And now it continues here. Terms and conditions agree and continue. You're connected. Review permission. Continue again. Now we have to give more permissions. Go down. Continue. Allow Amazon Alexa to record audio while you're using the app. Manage phone calls. Allow. Access contacts, allow, location, customize a hardware button. Is that possible? I thought that's not possible anymore. And maybe let's see if that works already now. I haven't been able to assign a button, but let's see if we can talk to Alexa. Hey Alexa, what's the current Bitcoin price? One Bitcoin is worth 47,560 US dollar, up 5.3% over the last 24 hours. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. Of course, also the Bitcoin information is pretty cool. Yeah, it works. We have a success, at least at the moment it's working. So that was it. It took only two minutes. No, it was actually pretty long, but it works. I don't know if I'll be able to assign a button probably not but when we are using the recent apps then we have alexa on top yeah okay that's enough for me at the moment also here in the app overview yeah that's definitely pretty cool alexa not only writing but alexa talking to me absolutely awesome now we have the assistant back. The call function is working much better than before. And also the alarm, the alarm for me, the biggest upgrade, TickWatch Wear OS 3.5, biggest upgrade, the alarm during the night. But uh, everything now looks better than before. So that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below. And I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.